Halloween 2016 series uh, of makeup tutorials for uh, my channel. Today I have done this look where you have been cut in the neck and this is what I've come up with. Um, if you like the video, please thumbs up, like, comment, share, leave comments below of anything you would like to see in the future on the channel for the Halloween series and click the little notification button beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I load a video for this series. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button as well. And if you would like to see how I achieve this cut, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay, what you would need for this video is some latex. You will also need some scar blood, some vampire blood, the thin blood. You would need some paint or you can use eyeshadow. I may use both. Not sure yet until I start, but that's what you would need for this. And you will also need tissue. You can use tissue or you can use toilet tissue. Either one will work. So stay tuned. Okay, first we're going to start off by taking some latex on a sponge and putting it on the neck. And we're going to use this as our base to lay the tissue on. So then you take some tissue, you can tear it in strips, doesn't have to be neat. So you take some more latex and dip it around. And I'm gonna do another layer. And you want it to be messy because it's gonna look like your skin is ripped open. Sure you get around the edges good so that it'll lay flat to the skin. And now you just want to let this dry a little bit so that you can start lifting it and ripping it apart like a cut through the center of it so that you can start putting the blood and the bruising and that stuff around it. So I'm going to take a blow dryer and dry it just a little bit and then we can start the other part. So fix it. Okay, it's dry. It's not all the way dry, but it's dry enough. And I'm going to take my scissors and just grab little pieces and like go straight across like I'm doing a slit and then separate it. And you can use tweezers too because you want it to look like it's an opening when it's, when it's torn. Okay, what I'm doing is splitting it apart. Okay, there we go. I probably should have put more layers on, but we're going to go with what I have. enough cut and I'm gonna take some it's kind of thick I'm gonna take a little bit of latex and a little bit more tissue and put it in the inside on my bare skin so I don't want to leave any of it bare because I want it to look like the insides so that when you put the blood and stuff on it it looks right and it take a minute for that to dry but we can work on the outside of the scarring while that's trying to dry I don't want to look like a skin that's hanging So first off, around the scarring, you want to create bruising. So you can do that by putting on burgundy, red, and black paint or eyeshadow. I'm going to use eyeshadow because I think it will work a little bit better with this latex. I'm going to start off with the burgundy. Right now, I'm using this Elf palette and just a regular paintbrush. And I'm using this burgundy color. Then I'm gonna take the brown, the dark brown out of that palette and do the same thing. And I'm gonna take that burgundy and go in and do it in. Then I'm going to take this palette here. This is the 252 Ultimate Palette from Coastal Scents and I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna use some of these dark reds over here. Now I'm going to take some of this vampire blood. This is the thinner blood and I am going to take a stippling sponge and I am going to stipple some blood on it. And then I'm going to take this little paint palette and I'm going to take some of the brown and stipple that on there to try to blend it with my skin. Black in one of these palettes. 
take some powder foundation as well. And once we get all the white covered up, then we'll go back and start working and building on the other around the neck. Okay, got that covered up. And since it's latex, you can pull at it pretty dry now. Back to the blood. Now we'll start stippling blood. We'll take some, some of the thicker blood and we're gonna put that in the inside of that crease. Let's finish with this stippling of this blood. Um, Purple and brown and reds from the blue. And that's all out of this palette. The brown, purple, and the red. And then we're gonna take this thick blood and we're gonna use a craft stick and we're gonna put that directly in the center of that slit, just like so, right in between them folds. Dippling sponge. And there you have it. That is how you make a cut in your neck. And as your body it warms up the blood, it'll drip a little before it dries. Nasty, nasty, nasty cut. I'm glad you guys made it to the end of the video. As always, thank you guys for your continued support. And yeah, if you like the video, please thumbs up. Leave comments below. If you ask a question, I'll be sure to answer anything that you leave. Um, and also, if you would like to see any future videos, please leave that in the comment section and I will try to get to those as well before the end of the month. And once again, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and add these videos to your playlist and once again thank you guys for stopping by my channel and i look forward to seeing you in my very next video bye bye halloween 2016 series on my channel i am doing a cute little kitty look today it's a sexy little kitty have my cat ears on um yeah so